Hi guys, this is News and Review Week, week ending Friday the 6th of December 2019. Here is where I find news reports and releases in the world of scale model building. Everything I talk about and show will be in the link in the description down below. So the first story I really want to uh, look into was on the Financial Times. And this is actually behind a paywall. I got hold of it because I posted it on Twitter or retweeted it on Twitter. And if I click on my Twitter, it then opens it up. If you go to the Financial Times and try and look for this article, it's behind a paywall. And they reported that Lyndon Davis uh, put out a bit of an attack on his own company, uh, specifically on the website. He was claiming to have said, the website needs to blow away the cobwebs. You can actually find this if you go onto the um, announcement. You can go down to the actual report and see that uh, he's mentioned it here. It is quoted as saying, As it currently stands, our digital shop front has a lot of dusty old faded boxes in the window. A few cobwebs can only handle a small amount of custom and has very little information or attracting merchandising. This is not a criticism of our current staff. It is a matter of resources and technical expertise. It needs a complete refurbishment. Now, personally... I actually enjoy going on the Airfix website, but going through all three that I know of, which was Hornby Model Railways, Airfix and Scale Electrics, they do look pretty good. So having a quick look, Hornby is exactly the same looking as the Airfix one. They have um, definitely um, done really well. This looks exciting. Um, they both seem to have an advent calendar for the 24 days of Christmas. Um, they all have pre-ordering available. They have a good returns policy. The only gripe I have is the five quid it costs for the postage and packing. When you pre-order, I think it's like £4.95. But I can see why it is a bit higher because I really feel that they need to try and get us to go back to model shops. Instead of buying it on their actual websites, you can go to your local local shop and buy it without any postage and packing. All right, it may cost you fuel to get there, but maybe that's a way of just, you know, gently pushing you towards the shops. The Scalelectrics one's very blue, obviously, and they seem to more have like a, a Shopify sort of experience to buy on their website. But it's still secured and done by Braintree. Uh, can have Apple Pay on it, PayPal. You know, they do have a really good website, in my opinion. But maybe he's more on about what's actually on the website. It may even be good if, you know, with, with the new arrivals, they they do add more more meat on the bone sort of speak if you go on to new arrivals on the airfix side which is where i normally go shopping because i'm not really a hornby enthusiast these are all their new arrivals you know new tooling all these are back in stock um and it does it it, it looks pleasurable to the eye you know i'm not going to deny it you know if you click on on the actual page itself of what you want to buy when it loads so on the website you know this is tiger uh, mid version once one to 35 scale i actually find it really pleasing to the eye i go onto the website you can zoom over and you can hover over the picture and just see what it looks like you know the box art then you can click on the actual picture and have a good nosy around of what it looks like you go down there's a really good description explaining about the tank it, then scrolls you down to the technical specifications and the detail. Unfortunately, this one hasn't got any reviews or images, but, you know, they do like people to put their own images up of the completed kit. And then as you scroll down to the bottom of the page, normally the basket comes down with you. So there's the basket floating. You scroll down. The description and all that's coming down. You get to the bottom. There it is. There's the basket. So you know... If you want it after reading all that, all you got to do is click to basket. My only, as I said, my real gripe is the price of um, of the postage of this. And Hornby's exactly the same. Some really good stuff. 
Um, Skeletric, exactly the same. They've got their own advent calendar as well. Yeah, I'm really, really impressed with the website. But as he is also saying that there's some stuff on there that may need to be updated, either by new tooling or maybe new decals with, with new reboxing, etc., on their site. But if you really want to see it all, the um, the Hornby um, report is all here, so you can see, and you can read exactly what's going on. And um, hopefully, as of next year, we'll see even more new kits and more reviews. Also, this week, there was this fantastic article in the Liverpool Echo about a company once owned by Airfix. The story is basically about Meccano and how Liverpool's Meccano workers were given 40 minutes notice of redundancy that was in this week in 1979. Now, as you know, the uh, the company um, moved all their production across to France, I think it was, but um, the original plant was in Bin Road of Old Swan. And what happened was the workers went into work 40 years ago on the 30th of November and they were basically given 40 minutes to leave the factory and were given their P45s and their redundancy letters. And the group of workers basically took matters into their own hands and they kicked out the management right out the factory and they occupied it. It's a fascinating read. It's definitely worth having a little look about how the, the you know, just before Christmas, there was over 900 workers, basically jobless. They were, you know, they had the, uh, the unions helping them. And it does say that despite suffering terrible financial hardship, the loyal and proud Liverpool workforce bravely refused to accept it was the end of the production line. Anyway, you can read the article for yourself and just be blown away on exactly what happened. It explains it all here. They they just basically were told, this is it, the factory's now closed, off you go for Christmas, you know. Um, there's some really good words there from a, a chap there who's called John Lynch. He's actually 67 now. So this would have happened when he was 27 years old. He explained that we're able to rely on the support of my family and Anne's family, who's a woman in the article, but a lot of people had nobody to help them apart from their fellow workers. This was always a difficult time for me. My mind goes back to November 30th, 1979. While I will have dreams about it three or four times a year, it never leaves you. Fascinating story. So if you've got a couple of minutes, why don't you look in the description down below and have a read of this story. So let's have some releases and on the Tamiya website they're bringing out a few new accessories and paints this month. First off we have the 40 milliliter square bottle holder. The item number is 87202. This should help prevent your square 40 milliliter bottle which is your cement, your ascent colours etc from tipping over with this simple yet effective holder. It is moulded in polyethylene plastic sponge for good resistance to thinners. A joint is included to allow connection of multiple holders. <laughs> and then uh, there's some examples there of its usage. Also, on the website, they've announced that they're going to be bringing out a Craft Knife Mark II, item number 74153, part of the Tamiya Craft Tool Series number 153. So, <laughs> take it as you wish the the craft life is essentially in any modeler's toolbox why not upgrade to tamiya's latest offering it features an auto lock slider for safety purposes and resilient stainless steel blade that can be set for left or right handed use features a black handle with a tamiya logo showcased in the pristine white a detachable clip can be used to snap off blade section so basically it's uh one of your uh, Poundland specials, but made black with a Tamiya logo on it and stamped, and then going to charge you a full few quid for the privilege of using it. Also, they're going to increase their colour lacquers paints range. Um, I use the lacquer paints. I think they are tremendous when you're airbrushing them. They dry really, really well. The lacquer 
thinners is brilliant for it but they're now bringing out a, some more military colors they're bringing out the L, so lp75 buff the lp74 flat earth and the lp73 khaki colors um basically it's uh it's they're brilliant and this is for more of the the khaki is more for the military clothing and canvas etc the flat earth is more for uh scenery and picking out details on military models and also they have the buff which is used on most military subjects okay or 10 mil bottles and they've been released this week i think they're coming out this week and on the scale model side, they're bringing out a Porsche 934 Jägermeister. And this one comes with photo etch parts. Uh, the item number is 12055. It's an orange looking Porsche. It's been, it's basically the kit recreates a 934 from the 1976 World Championship. The refined form of the race car 934 is captured with a plum. I don't know what that means. Features opening doors plus front and rear hoods. Marvel at the detailed depiction of the six cylinder turbo engine. Includes new components for slick tyres. Comes with photo ed etch parts for an immensely detailed finish. One final piece I'm going to just talk about was Academy. Now, back in, I think it was October or November of 2018. There was mention in their 2019 catalog that they were going to be producing a brand new Tomcat F14A. Now, the rumours went really quiet and then back in September time, there was a lot more being put out there of different uh, mouldings, um, different ideas, what was going to come of it. And in September, there was a picture put up from the Japanese model show of the completed kit and the artwork now this week i've just been looking um on youtube and scale model aircraft youtube channel have now done a video preview of this kit and i must say it does look brilliant so all the rumors of what the injection mode is going to look like what we're going to end up with is now available on a video so i'll link in the description below the the link to the video by Dusan. He's been given it from Academy. He's opened up the box. He's shown the sprues. He's shown the the decals. And to be fair, this looks like it's going to be one of those kits that is going to be a rage of 2020. Personally, I've not seen it in this country in England. Um, I've got a quick look on the websites. I can't see it for sale, but I believe it's now available in Japan. So hopefully by the end of um, this year. Um, maybe into 2020 January 2020 we'll have the opportunity of buying this kit and then building it for ourselves but I say what I've seen so far and when you go to that video you will definitely see what I've seen and you will be mightily impressed it looks like there's about four or five different versions in the box because Dusan mentioned saying very nice kit many optional parts for B or D versions in this box what they are i'm not too sure but watch a video and you'll find out for yourself so that's a quick news roundup and reviews uh, websites etc um if you'd like this format please can you give the video a like comment down below any thoughts on this on what i can improve on what you think could be better and um, obviously if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and if you've done all of those things could you do us a favor and just share the video Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon for the next video. Cheers.